Hey guys, welcome back to the Manhattan Project. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a hero who I think is the easiest hero to play in all of Dota 2. So even though this hero is very easy to play and is typically a hero recommended to noobs starting off the game, he's not bad. He's not even close to bad. In fact, he's almost one of the top supports in the game right now. So the hero that I'm talking about in today's video, if you haven't already seen from the gameplay, is Lich. When I first saw Lich in the pro scene as a dual offlaner, I thought it was a pretty gimmicky lane, even though it worked out in pubs. But how wrong could I be? Lich, as it turns out, is one of the top tier supports right now. He's very good because he has a way to always give himself mana, and he's extremely non-reliant on items. This independence, coupled with his nuke frost blast, as well as his ultimate chain frost, make for one heck of a hero. Lich is constantly able to keep lanes pulled back because of his third skill sacrifice. This allows him to deny a friendly creep as well as converting some of its health into mana for his own use. This is awesome for Lich because it gives him the mana to spam Frost Blast without having to pick up an item such as Arcane Boots or Soul Ring. This ability to deny experience to the enemy team coupled with his nuke which allows him to harass the enemy team makes Lich a very effective laning support. If there's one place that Lich is better than when he's in lane, it's during team fights. The reason he's so great during team fights is because of his ultimate Chain Frost. Chain Frost is a nuke that bounces between enemy targets and deals out a massive amount of damage. As well as being able to nuke down opponents and sacrifice creeps, Lich also can provide his team with ice armor. This is very effective if you're taking an objective such as Roshan, or if the enemy team has a DPS carry. Usually in pubs, the first item that people go on Lich is an Aghanim Scepter. I, however, think that this is a huge waste to begin and should only be picked up later in the game. Lich is much better served by picking up an early game support item such as a Force Staff, a Mechanism, a Glimmer Cape, or a Solar Crest which allows your team to take a fast early Roshan. It's only really a good idea to build Aghanim Scepter after you're done with one of these items and your team is in a decently favorable position during the game. The final thing about Lich is that he's able to get plenty of gold during your typical game because his AoE abilities yield him plenty of assists. In addition to purchasing an Aghanim Scepter, you could also go for a Refresher Orb, a Shiva's, a Scythe of Vice, or even an Octarine Core. All of these items provide Lich with either more damage, more lockdown, or more sustain for the rest of his team. You can also look up to pick up a pipe if your team is dealing with a magical nuke hero such as Zeus or a Spectre who has Radiance. Well guys, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a thumbs up. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel for more content. I have videos linked down below. Thanks for viewing and have a great day.